Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. What's up, guys? Coach Little Joe here, back again for another video. Now, today, I want to do something a little different since, as you probably know, uh, well in Canada at least, uh, we're dealing with a lot of lockdowns and not being able to have proper gym access, so training is, you know, underground, so to speak. So for myself, I can't really be doing training videos right now. Hopefully, you know, as these pushbacks against the lockdowns seem to be working, at least for uh, the educational system, it's working right now, which is great. And I think that's amazing that uh, kids are able to go back to school because I think that's essential for kids to be in school and not be sitting at home looking at a computer screen. You know, you need to socialize. So I also think that it should happen for everybody in regards to, you know, their mental health and wellness. So hopefully this pushback continues to happen in a positive manner and uh, we see things coming to light because clearly the lockdowns don't work. Yes, I said it. They don't. Okay, now I want to get into a Q&A that I uh, started on my Instagram story last week. I was, it's for true or false, so you had the opportunity while that story was up for 24 hours to ask me anything regards, regarding with the true or false answer. So I got a list of questions here that I'm going to answer from Instagram. Some are interesting, some are pretty basic, but we're going to get after it in no particular order. Alright, here we go. First question, you measure your arms every day. False, I probably the last time I measured my arms was when someone asked me uh, a few months ago and I think they were around 21, cold maybe? You're a hard gainer. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a hard gainer because uh, even when I started bodybuilding, I was able to gain weight pretty quickly and get up to, you know, 230 pounds for my first contest, so I wouldn't consider that a hard gainer because I started bodybuilding at 18, and by the time I was 20, I was competing at about two, you know, close to 230 pounds, so, you know, at 5'10", that's probably not hard gainer status. Intracarbs is really good. Yes, I do believe intracarbs are really good in regards to, like, you know, uh, some sort of carb powder or something like you know coconut water which is something I use which has carbs in it it's also good for the potassium for your muscles uh, to prevent cramping when you're training so I do believe in intercarbs yes true most of your t-shirts have permanent sweat stains <laughs> I wouldn't say that they have permanent sweat stains but I have a few training shirts for sure because I do sweat a lot especially in the off season when I'm training so they definitely have a stank to them when I, when I put them on, even after putting them through the wash and everything, so... I don't know if that's uh, true or false, but it's in the middle almost, you know? You hate people that use poor grammar. I, I don't want to say I hate them, but I'm going to say that I do... I'd say true just because I do not like it when someone purposely uses slang or... For example, someone that says, you know, TBT, instead of saying, throwback Thursday. It's, so it's okay when you're texting, but in real life, don't talk like that, please. At least not with me. You are a steak snob. True. I, I'd say I'm a steak snob because I do like the finer end steak, I guess you could say. That's my go-to after a show is, you know, going out, getting a nice prime rib steak. That's... Probably my favorite cut, hands down, when it comes to steak. So I'd, I'd say I'm a bit of a steak snob. I've, you know, tried some really nice steak places. So, yeah, a little bit. PB over pizza. No. For me, anyways, it would be, so that's false. <laughs> uh, it would definitely be pizza over PB. I... I have a thing for pizza. I really like pizza. It's one of my favorite cheats, I guess you could say. Um, so, definitely not PB. PB is still this, like really good, not gonna lie, but I think that's more of a female fitness 
addiction than for the men. I think the guys would go for something else, but that's just me. All right. More of a book guy than a movie guy. I'd say that's true. Uh, I do like to read. As some of you probably see from my stories on Instagram, I post the Daily Stoic, those re reading the page a day. This is the page for every day of the year. And I just find, for me, like what I try to do, especially now as I wake up, I read uh, for about 30 minutes and then I do my cardio. So I will read a page from the Daily Stoic and then I'll read maybe, I don't know, half a chapter or so from a book that I'm currently reading. And I start my day like that and I find it puts your mind in a good in a good set to go about your day. You know, you're not starting off the day by scrolling through Instagram. The first thing you do when you wake up for me is um, I'm, you know, reading. So I find that is a great way to start my day. Uh, so I would definitely say I'm more of a... Uh, a book guy than a movie guy because when it comes to watching movies I have such a hard time paying attention and I always get distracted feeling like I'm wasting my time watching the movie but that's just me that's nothing wrong with you if you're more of a movie guy <clears throat> this one is uh, my clients uh, kind of talking shit to each other uh, Jay Lemon has small calves this is true sorry, Je sorry Josh you do have small calves but we're bringing them up Oh, by the way, like my mug? All right. You like having your things neat and tidy. True. I am, as you can probably see, if you can see my place in the back, it's not messy. I like to clean, keep it clean for, you know, someone who lives by themselves. Um, definitely not messy. Never have been and never will be. You hate kids. False. I don't hate kids. I don't have an immediate desire to have kids right now just because of where I'm at with bodybuilding and everything. I just don't think it makes sense and I don't think it's fair for me to try and, you know, do something like that uh, and have a child when I'm in this point in my life. So I don't say I hate kids, but I'm not in the position to have kids right now. You love animals. Yes. I am getting a puppy this week. So you guys will be seeing him soon in the videos. You enjoy smoking weed and indica is the go-to. True. I do smoke weed. And before you jump to conclusions and think I'm just some bodybuilder stoner with the pothead mug, I'm more than that. It goes deeper. I use it to sleep mainly and relax and for anxiety. So. For myself, I usually only smoke at night before I go to bed. I don't usually smoke all day or do anything like that because for me, if I tried to do that during the day, I'd just feel lethargic and not want to do anything. So for me, it's at the end of the day when I've done everything I need to do for the day, accomplish those daily goals, of course. Then that's something I do at the end of the day and just helps me relax, fall asleep, yada yada. So yes, Indica is the go-to for that because it's the best one, in my opinion, for sleeping. You do cardio every day. Yes, even in the off season, I do cardio every day. Um, the reason for that is mainly uh, for like digestion. It makes you feel better. Uh, my endurance is better. My appetite is better. My training is better. Uh, just overall, you feel better. You're able to stay a little bit leaner. Um, it's not really gonna, you know, in induce fat loss because I only do about 20 minutes a day on the bike or the treadmill, but it just, you feel a lot better, at least I do, doing a little bit of cardio every day and just helping to keep, you know, keep things moving, ensuring you can still eat a lot of food and, you know, getting the most out of what you're trying to do. So cardio every day, almost every day of the year, except for maybe, you know, a few days before when I compete and such, but uh, pretty much do cardio every day year round. You enjoy playing video games, false not a gamer and you know if you like it cool but for me no not for me I, I don't have the attention span to sit there and play video games I'd rather you know read okay next one you won your pro card in Vancouver false should have won my pro card in Vancouver but that's a story for a later date uh, but I did win my pro card in Toronto in 2019, so it's been almost two years to the date uh, that I won it, which was probably 
to, to date, probably one of the biggest highlights of my career, if not my life, when I won that, because that took me seven years, if not, yeah, over seven years, almost eight years of working to get there. So I would definitely say that's a, that's a highlight for sure. You love, you, you love cats. False. I don't love cats. Don't hate them, but wouldn't want one. <laughs> Your favorite body part to train is chest. Ah, fake news. Definitely not, even though it is International Chest Day today. Uh, I would much rather train legs or back. I would say back, back and, back and, back and quads are probably my favorite things to train. And then shoulders and I'd say chest is probably in with shoulders, you know, a tie for third. And then after that is hamstrings and then last but not least would be arms. Not a big fan of train arms. You have bad road rage. Notice how it says road, not roid. Any of y'all watching? I would say true. I do have a bit, <laughs> a bit of road rage. The only time, the only time I get my aggression out is when I'm driving and dealing with all the terrible Quebec drivers, or when I'm in the gym, killing them weights. So yes, I do have a bit of a road rage problem, but it's controlled. It's controlled. It's only when you have those really bad drivers that anybody gets pissed off by, so I don't think it's that bad. You are an introvert. True. I am an introvert. Uh, even doing these videos, this is something that uh, has been a huge adjustment for me over the past couple of years of doing more social media and everything to try and help with, you know, myself as a, an athlete and exposure and business and everything. So. For me, I am a lot more introverted, so when people, you know, see you do, see you socializing and such, to take, for an introvert like myself, I always feel way more exhausted after social events than the average person, because it takes more out of you, like, I get, like, anxious before, you know, because you're like, oh, I gotta go and do this, oh man, like, you're thinking about it so much, it just drives you crazy, but it's not that I don't enjoy it, you just, you know, I am more of an introvert, and it's just who I am, and uh, I force myself to be more of an extrovert. Before turning pro, you worked at Good Life. True, I did. It was a little bit before I turned pro. Um, it was actually before I moved to Ottawa, because before I moved to Ottawa, I lived in the Toronto area. Um, and uh, so it was probably... I worked there, it would have been three or four years before I went to pro card. I worked at Good Life for a couple years. As a personal trainer. Your favorite cheat meal is pizza. True, it's one of my favorites for sure, and it's an easy go-to, especially, well, this time of, uh, you know, the things we're dealing with now with lockdowns and can't go to a restaurant, so I would say, yeah, it's definitely a go-to, um, because you can just order it at home, um, but my next go-to would for sure be sushi, and then, like I mentioned before, a prime rib steak. Those are my favorite ones. I'm not a big sweets person, not that I would never eat sweets, but I just don't crave it, so I would have no inclination to have that as a, a cheat meal or, or such. You are originally from Ottawa. Well, that's false, because I just totally said I was originally from Toronto, so. <laughs> you prefer to train alone, and you don't need someone to push you through your workout. True. I, tr I'll say this is two parts. Like, I used to 100% prefer to train alone, and I still do to some degree, but I do like having someone to train with on uh, certain days where you could use a spotter or, you know, use that extra kick in the butt from somebody to have them around. You know, I like sometimes training with a few of my clients because, yes, they're getting a benefit, sure, training with me because they know I'm going to push them, but having them around actually pushes me to train harder as well. So I do, uh, I do like having someone else around. Um to train with me, but I don't need someone to push me through my workout. That's 100% I can push myself through a training session. I don't need someone to stand there and, you know, motivate me or anything, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. If you weren't bodybuilding, you'd compete in powerlifting. Hmm. That, I would say, is a possible true. It's not a, I can't say for sure, but it is possibly true because it is something I've always thought about because 
in general, like I've noticed my strength is pretty good for somebody who doesn't train for strength. And like, I don't, I haven't, I didn't deadlift for five years and I was able to deadlift seven plates, you know, which is, uh, nearly 700 pounds for a few reps. So I know that if I put my mind to it, I could do it. And it's something that I've always thought about, but never, if I wasn't bodybuilding, that is probably something I would have gotten into when I was younger. So yeah, you find fulfillment in helping others. True. I love to be able to help others, especially in the fitness and bodybuilding world. Uh, that's why I'm coaching because it's something I like to do and it works very well um, for myself and you know, helping others and I thrive off of seeing others do well because it just makes me want to continue to do what I do. Your ideal cheat meal is pizza and sushi. I'd say that's a great cheat meal, true. You can't stand closed-minded people, 100% true. 100% true. I think you need to be a little bit more open-minded, especially nowadays, you know, like there's so, things are always changing and I think people need to understand that and uh, be able to embrace change. This virus is bullshit. True. Pizza over burgers. True. More of a, well, sorry, I already said that one. Um, ever since you started lifting, you've been lifting like an animal. True. Olives are gross. Yeah. True. Core exercise is important. Very true. I always, I'll still do core work every other day in the off season. So when I do my cardio in the morning, I also do a little bit of stretching and I'll do a little bit of core work. Like every other day, I'll do some planks and things like that to help strengthen my core and, you know, keep your waistline in check and things like that. It's always good to keep your core um, keep up with core work, sorry, even in the off season. You can eat healthy on a low income, 100% true. I find it funny when people think they can't eat healthy um, based on their income, but usually the case is you're eating out a lot, you know, and a lot of times you go and spend 20 bucks to, you know, eat a burrito bowl or something from or whatever, go to McDonald's, whatever the case might be, you spend $15 a time, um, you could easily buy groceries with something like that. You could buy a couple packs of chicken breasts for 20 bucks or whatever the case might be. So there's definitely a way to eat healthy um, when you're on a budget. Off season is extremely important to benefit prep, true. If you're not utilizing your off season properly and you know pushing yourself to improve and train hard and keep nutrition on point, then you're not going to see the same benefit as if you just sort of go aimlessly in the off season. I've done that in the past and, you know, it kicks yourself in the butt because you don't make the same level of improvements. But when you take advantage of it, you're going to see crazy changes. The prime minister is a butt. True. You pick your nose. I think everybody picks their nose. True. <coughs> Bodybuilding was always what you imagine yourself doing in the future as a kid. False. When I was a kid, I imagined myself to be a professional NHL hockey player. That was the goal when I was a kid. And that soon changed when I was an early teen, probably by the time I was about 14, 15, because I realized I'm not going to make the NHL when I'm still playing house league. <laughs> this is one of my clients. Does Matt think he's top shit in the amateur league yet? Uh, I don't I don't think he thinks he's top shit, but he's really putting in the work, so he could be top shit pretty soon. You wanted to be a boxer before bodybuilding. That is true. Before I got into bodybuilding, when I was a teenager, I uh, about 15, 16, I really was interested in boxing and mixed martial arts, but my mom didn't want me to do it, so I wasn't allowed to do it and wasn't going to move out at 15 to try and pursue boxing, so. <laughs> you secretly love torturing people willing to train legs with you. True. You love burgers. Mm, false. I don't love burgers. I don't hate burgers, but I don't love them. They're not my go-to. I know a lot of bodybuilders seem to love burgers, but I'm not a burger lover. I, I like them, but I don't love them. You only train competitors. False. I Probably about half my clients are competitors, and half of them are non-competitors. They just have bodybuilding-related goals or body composition-related goals. So 
it still fits in the same category as you know a coach like myself who you know it's in regards to the body composition and changing and strength and conditioning and such I think that's it all right well hope you guys enjoyed some of the true false questions and answers about myself and gives you a little insight of who I am after is more than just the coach little Joe on Instagram so if you guys like this style of video and you know doing the questions and answers and true and false uh, type of videos rather than just me training or me eating or something along those lines or the podcast so just trying to give you guys a bit of a, a different look into my life so if you like it you know leave a comment or something you'd like to see next or even more questions if you guys have more questions leave them in the comments and I can do another video in the you know in the near future and of course if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe now